ESG Football 24 is a new free-to-play football game coming to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation this fall. Subscribe for more details. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another bad video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you really quickly how to run the read option like a pro, how to score a touchdown with it almost every time. It's super easy once you get the hang of it. So I'm going to give a quick 30-second tutorial, and then you can just watch my gameplay and watch me go to work. So this guy right here with the R, that's the player you're reading, and that's the most important player for the read option. He's going to tell you whether to give or to keep the ball. So in this scenario, you can see he doesn't freeze, which means that you keep the ball with the quarterback. So you don't hold A or you don't hold X on PlayStation. And that allows you to keep the ball. And that's the scenario where the defender, the R defender, runs up the field and chases after the running back. So that was an easy touchdown for the Lamar. In this scenario, same thing. The R is on the other side now. I'm reading this guy right here with the R. And as you can see, he kind of freezes. He doesn't run up the field. So in that scenario, I'm giving the ball to the running back. I'm holding X and giving the handoff. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And comment down below how many fantasy points Lamar Jackson is going to get in week one. Closest person gets a shout out. Al, first play, going to throw it. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. The first carry for the Memphis man, Antonio Gibson. Another nice gain. That's now 30 on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Al throwing on third down here. Incomplete. A touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. And now the punter Tress Way as he sends this one away. And not what he was hoping for. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of protection. That's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Throwing is Jackson. And that one into the hands of Beckham downfield. 23 yards to pick up. On the option right is Jackson. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens will claim the early lead as they're on the board first. Here's Hal to throw on second down. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. They'll go play action. Hal. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. Now he's loose at the 40. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. So that changes things. After the interception, here's Jackson, flush to his right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed... And he'll get it! Touchdown, Baltimore! J.K. Dobbins taking it in from two yards out. And the Ravens have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, ready to roll. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too? Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And they will take over at the... 
They'll start out here with the option left. The quick feet by Jackson. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12 yard line. And a solid job using his legs. 16. Who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. Jackson from the shotgun. They'll roll him out right. They'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens have moved out in front by three. Powell. And that is incomplete. Powell now to throw it. And this incomplete way on fourth down is sent out to punt. This is taken at the 18. A big kick there. We'll call it on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down. To throw is Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And this time he's able to take it down to the 40. Jackson is gone. You've got to take those blockers and move them so that you have clear vision of Lamar Jackson and hopefully you can have him in. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the third. Up and up and down. They might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. You see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. He'll buy some time right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about... Cliche, I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go and see what happens. Now a timeout. Now Jackson. And it's caught. And in for the Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins in the final seconds of the first half. on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Open man, that's Mill. That's it for the first half, two more. What's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they get the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's what now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he will have a down. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Pass the 20. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown, Brown. And the Ravens take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right. to the air on first and ten. Over the middle, he gets it to Gibson. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. And Howell will throw it. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Just holding right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared. This time of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things. That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. Finding room at midfield. And finally brought down. Now it's first and ten at the 43. 
Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers, 43 yards. And the Ravens. They actually do matter, and in this situation, he's going to try and run the best offense he can run to have at least a little bit of confidence to take away from that game. So, right now, they're going to... now they go play action with Hal. He's got a man, it's his fullback, and he'll go out near mid four tries. This is third and eight on third down. Robinson. Run leaves him just inches from a foot. Because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. And he'll be tackled right on the secondary for Washington on third down. Open man is Flowers. He's got it. And I remember reading in past history, there was a college football coach in the Hall of Fame whose nickname was Close the Gates of Mercy. But he wasn't really big on that. He was big on going ahead and coordinated right here. We're watching it in front of us. On fourth down, here's the option. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. How about the throw? On third down, Jackson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Back to back incomplete in that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the... Flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And the fake extra point. Press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while. But everyone on that offense knows it will sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you stuck around, make sure to check out my other videos. I just wanted to check out the stats real quick. Lamar Jackson, 224 passing yards, four touchdowns. So it was 12 rushes for 138 yards and two more touchdowns. Dude was absolutely going off this game. I mean, we put up a 50-piece, so not surprised. J.K. Dobbins had a nice little game, too. Zay Flowers went off 4 for 106 in a touchdown.